John Perez, our carryover champion, has leapt straight into it tonight. He's won the first game. $250 is his. Our next game is worth $250. So, Cathy, a chance to bounce right back on this one. And also, we have the added bonus of the Secret Square. One of our celebrities represents a romantic Sydney getaway valued at over $1,000 for the people at home. Here's the Secret Square. Now, John, you won the last game. Who would you like to start off with? Brian Quantum again, please. Brian! Lucky Ryan, here it goes. Gloucester, Old Spot and Land Race are two breeds of what? My God, I would not have a clue. I'm going to take a, a stab in the dark on this one. Uh, those dogs call cool. A greyhound, a greyhound. Dish lickers. Oh, I agree with that. Incorrect. It's pig. <laughs> is the various styles of pig is the correct name. Uh, so who gets the square? Kathy, your go. Um, Michael Caton, please. Michael Caton. Michael, what do you call someone who is an expert at pulling twisted and grotesque facial expressions? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Just stick to your guns there, Kimbo. <laughs> um, a gurner. I'll agree. Correct, it is a gurner. <laughs> Circle against the square. Back to you, John. Fiona Horn, please. Fiona. John, there's a romantic Sydney getaway valued over $1,000 resting on this one. According to a recent worldwide poll, what did 35% of people find disappointing? Well, from personal experience, <laughs> I'd have to, say, <laughs> have to say my first sexual experience. I'm sorry I've said it. Was it me? <laughs> it certainly wasn't. Was <laughs> Settle down, please. Oh, look, just because we work together. <laughs> I think they're finished now, Josh. I'll agree with that. You'll agree with that, and you're correct. It is their first sexual experience. X gets the square, and you have won this. John, you'll enjoy a weekend for two at one of Sydney's finest hotels situated in the heart of the shopping district. This three-night getaway, including travel, is valued at $1,040, thanks to All Seasons on Crown and Greyhound Pioneer. Oh, have a good one, John. OK, now, Cathy, your go. Kim Hope, please. Kim oh, okay. Hope. We got there eventually. So, so you're going to work on that whole going in a straight line kind of yeah. thing People now, People play Kathy. it their own style, Kim. I know. What did it take Leonardo da Vinci four years to do when painting the Mona Lisa? Oh, he's a bit messy around the uh, studio. It was to take the lid off his paints. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then. <laughs> Tough crowd, is this thing on? Uh, <laughs> it was actually to finish painting her smile because she had that kind of mysterious smile. I'll agree with that. And you're correct. It's finished painting her smile is the correct answer. So if it the square. John, back to you. Tim Smith for the block, please. Oh. Timbo. If I was driving at 75 miles per hour, how long would it take me to drive around one of Saturn's rings? Ooh, Vicar. I actually know a back way. <laughs> uh, I would imagine that it would probably take you about three weeks, John, but I've never actually driven it myself. It's hard to get petrol. <laughs> Wouldn't have a clue, but I'll agree with him. Incorrect. It's 258 days oh, is really? the correct answer. I'm afraid so. Okay. Now, uh, you do not automatically get the square, Kathy. You have to earn a win. Who are you going to pick? Kirsty Marshall. Ah, Kirsty Marshall. <laughs> Kirsty, each winter, why do squirrels on average lose half their nuts? <laughs> I'm glad you asked me this. <laughs> Because it's winter and there's snowfalls, so they actually make their tracks back to their little house, go out and get more nuts, but um, they actually forget where they've placed them. Hmm. It's the old snow. Mm. Losing your tracks. It's often if you go to the bar, you don't know where you've come. Oh, don't worry. Losing your nuts in the snow. <laughs> yeah. I'll agree with that. And you're correct. They forget where they stored them. It's the correct answer. You've won that game. $250 oh, is yours. Oh, Oh, we're neck and neck on $250. Our next game is worth $500. And, Cathy, it's your game. Mm. I'll begin with Ryan Quinton, thanks. No worries, Ryan. Oh, good man. 
Why was the book about a horse, My Friend Flicker, banned from American schools? My Friend Flicker? Mm. My nan actually read that to me. She used to, when I had uh, tonsillitis, she read that to me and uh, it couldn't send me to sleep because of uh, the bad language in it. So basically because of the bad language. <laughs> That's true. I disagree. Incorrect. It is bad language is the correct answer. X gets the square. John? Tim Smith, please. No, I Timber. Can't. After whom was the leotard named? <laughs> Leo Tard. <laughs> Leo, uh, you must have heard of the, the Tardy Boys. <laughs> no, um, I, I think it was named after a guy called Leo Tard, I think. I'll agree with that. And correct. It was named after Julius Leotard, 19th century French aerial gymnast. You got that square. X gets the square. Kathy. Linley Frame for the block. Linley place. Frame. A pleasure. During the entire run of I Dream of Jeannie, what was actress Barbara Eden never allowed to show us? Well, I grew up watching it, so this one's easy. She used to wear that little headdress. She wasn't allowed to show her ears. No, I disagree with that. Correct. It was her navel she was, wasn't allowed to show. Circle <laughs> gets the square. John, back to you. Toddy Goldsmith, please. Top what? When certain species of praying mantises are mating, the female will do what to the male? Eat him. <laughs> That's it, John. Mm. I'll agree with that. Correct. She does <laughs> eat him. <laughs> X gets the square and we'll be back with the rest of this game in a few moments on All Star Squares. <laughs>